say the time when you sold the copy blogger media, it was huge, right? It, it's got studio press, then it had Rainmaker, it had mm -hmm. a lot of other products. How were you guys managing all of it? Well, it was tough, which is why we decided to start to sell some of the parts because we became bigger than we wanted to. And we had several mm -hmm. lines of business. And, and I told Brian Clark in Nashville at a steakhouse <laughs> at WordCamp US, I'm like, look, it's time to sell Studio Press because Gutenberg was coming, whatever that meant at the time, I had no idea. And I said, unless we're willing to like double down and, and commit to it, using a lot of people to build this out and to follow along, we're just, it's just going to wither up and that mm. other people will pass us by. So let's see if we can find, you know, somebody, we obviously have several friends in the industry, hosting companies made the most sense. So we reached out to them. And so as a company, copy blogger media chose to sell that line of business, which we mm. did. And then after that, shortly thereafter, then we sold Rainmaker to uh, an agency, a fellow down in, in Dallas, Texas named Ed Bardwell, and he bought the Rainmaker line of business. And then we were sort of left with just copy blogger, the blog at that point. Uh, and then I, at that point, I, I had real, no real interest in being a part of that anymore, just because I just wanted to do other things. And so I sold my ownership in copy blogger, which was basically mm -hmm. the blog at the time, which then freed me up to just go do whatever I wanted. So Right, right. Interesting. So you came the whole, it completed the whole circle, right? <laughs> Pretty much. It started as, as a blog and then it, it ended up as a blog. Yeah. But there was huge, huge learnings and great journey in, in, yeah. in that. Yeah.